Um, now, Harry, in, in, particularly in those positions of the field, he's top quality. In my opinion, he's the best centre-back at his club as well. Unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you've heard all the jokes. Easily the number one most viral footballer in the world this past year is no other than a defensive specimen himself, Harry Maguire. Easily the biggest meme in the footballing world today. Almost impossible to think that just a few short years ago, he was actually a solid player. Man United fans would even boo their own captain, but it's gotten so bad that now, during a recent Nations League match against Germany, even his own countrymen have started to boo him. The very same person that they used to cheer for not too long ago. So what did ever happen to Harry Maguire, and how did he suddenly forget how to play defense? Well, I think that I might have it figured out. So today, let's take a look. Harry Maguire really does make a difference on the pitch. His defensive presence is so noticeable that without him on the pitch, Man United has yet to lose a single match this season. It's like they instantly transform into a much better squad. But if you really want to see how the stat plays out throughout the season, then there's no better way than using today's sponsor, OneFootball. With OneFootball, you can see all the live scores of your favorite teams, stats of your favorite players, and trending headlines to keep you up to date with the world of football and everything in it. OneFootball lets you personalize news notifications to make it easy to follow the clubs and players you're interested in or support. You'll instantly get live updates from match scores no matter where you are in the world. Even break down all the small details and statistics to look at how certain players perform or every small match update like who gets called for a card or who gets substituted. And my favorite part is you can now watch live matches and post-game highlights from all over the world, including different competitions and even some friendly matches. And for a bit of fun, you can even vote for who you think will win matches and see overall results from every other football fan as well. And in addition to all their great features, OneFootball is now offering everyone in the UK and Ireland the opportunity to watch some selected live matches and highlights from Italian Serie A, La Liga, Liga Portugal, and DFB Pokal, or the German Cup, with even one selected Saturday night Italian Serie A game for free, streamed live on their app. So make sure you click the link in the description to download OneFootball today. But in all seriousness, how did it really get like this? I don't think I've ever seen a player become as ridiculed and as memed as quickly as Maguire has. And trust me, I may joke about it, but I also have to feel bad for the guy. You have to remember that just a few years ago, he was signed for an unbelievable 80 million pounds. Legitimately one of the highest signing records in history, close to names like Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar. In fact, it's the highest fee that has ever been paid for a defender. So he had to be at least a bit decent back then to receive such an insane valuation, right? We have to go back a few years to really understand how Maguire came to the spotlight. Before all the constant lowlights, Maguire was a solid and upcoming defender who was scoring game-winning hitters and winning Man of the Match awards in his debut season, if you can believe it. Although it was in the second and third tier league in England, his time with Sheffield United was quite successful by all means. He was even named the Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year for the club, also making it to the third division Team of the Year in just his first season alone. And I know, I know, it's the third tier division. But even then, those players are ballers, at least compared to probably everyone watching this video right now. Maguire would perform better in his last two seasons with Sheffield than his entire time at Man United so far, scoring nearly twice as many goals as well. So at just 21 years old, still very young, Maguire proved himself good enough to land in the Premier League playing for Hull City. And although he'd go on loan throughout his first year, it would be in the 2016-2017 season that Maguire had finally become a regular starter for the club. This is where it kinda gets interesting, as Maguire was captained by the club at only 23 Three years old. He would be voted for by both Hull City fans and players as the club's player of the year. Yes, you heard that right. At 23 years old, Harry Maguire was a genuine captain and player of the year for an actual Premier League squad. The man was legitimately a solid defender. He had no hate towards him, no memes, and a good amount of respect from fans and teammates alike. His value would go from 2.5 million all the way to 12 million pounds, almost a 10x price increase when he moved to Leicester City the very next year in the 2017-18 season. 
the man played every single minute of that season. So Leicester City got all the value they paid for. And say what you will about the man, but he's an absolute fridge. Uh, I mean tank. He was always giving it his all on the pitch, scoring two goals while being named the club player of the season. So if we put our recent memories of him at Manchester United aside, Maguire was quite a defensive force. He's a big guy and was very proficient with stopping aerial threats. Although he's never been an amazing one-on-one -on -one defender, he was genuinely good at clearing the ball and helping his team with clean sheets. But it was in 2018 playing for his country that he really started to get attention. In the World Cup, I dare say he was actually one of England's most solid players, scoring a goal and even giving an assist to Harry Kane which, as a defender, really speaks a lot. One thing that's actually really underrated about Maguire is his passing. Sure, lately the man has been making a lot of mistakes, but he has almost as many assists as he has goals, with 24 and 28 respectively throughout his career. Just how many defenders could you name that would provide a similar output? Actually, if you go back in time, then you'd probably look at Maguire as one of the up-and-coming, soon-to-be best defenders all of England. I'm very serious. Thus, Manchester United, as distressed as they were, needed so some changes defensively. And as history would have it, they would actually back out of their initial bid of 70 million, only to end up buying him shortly after for an insane 80 million pounds. Leicester City definitely made a bag out of that sale for sure. During his first year with United, he was a very solid player. Sure, mistakes as a defender are inevitable. It was good enough that United had improved from 6th place all the way to 3rd in Premier League standings playing every single minute of their 38 matches, becoming the first United player to do it since 1995. But in the 2020 Euros, Maguire was at his peak. He was a defensive force during the tournament and seemed as confident as ever, scoring goals and calmly sinking in penalties. But England would unfortunately fail to bring it home. However, many would start to see Maguire in a different light, like the captain and leader that he always was. And as we all know, he would actually become United's captain. In the 2020-2021 season, Maguire was easily one of the most solid defenders in the Premier League. United were second place and even made it all the way to the Europa League final. But unfortunately, due to an injury, Maguire had to sit out, which United would lose on penalties after a 1-1 draw. Heck, if Maguire was there, they might have damn well won the trophy. He even became England's highest scoring defender of all time that year, beating out even John Terry. But this now takes us to the 2021-22 season where Maguire's career would start to go downhill. He would make a string of poor defensive mistakes that led to some viral low light, which would only snowball further and further as he continued to make even more of them. Maguire's 34 appearances in the 2020-21 season, he helped his club have 13 clean sheets, but next season it would drop by over 50%, with only 6 in the 2021-22 season. In fact, his interceptions would also drop by nearly half from 60 all the way to 32. His clearances would drop from 122 to only 100. And what he was best known for, his heading clearances, would drop from 86 to 57. Recoveries would drop from 199 to 148. Duels won tanked from 203 all the way to 132, with the aerial battles won plummeting from 135 all the way to 75. Not only was he performing way below average, watching him, it looked like he genuinely forgot how to play defense. I mean, we've all seen the videos and laughed or shook our heads questioning just what what the heck is happening? So yes, Maguire was having a very bad year. While not entirely his fault, many would use the fact that he was also the most expensive defender ever to justify the blame. And yeah, to be blamed on Maguire. It certainly didn't help that he made some incredibly hilarious and foolish mistakes throughout the season as well. The guy was prime meme material. United was not having a good season. One of their best players, Mason Greenwood, went to prison, while Pogba, Sancho, Rashford, and many others completely disappeared. And Maguire became the scapegoat of the club. You have to remember, the guy started off at small clubs. He was definitely having a bad season, but he had never faced such criticism, jokes, and widespread hate to this magnitude before. He would even receive bomb threats on his house, which no doubt led to some serious worries for him and his family's safety. And when you add all of that with the stress and pressure of knowing you have to perform well, things can only get worse. Maguire has lost a lot of that focus, confidence, and support that helped him get to the peak of his career just a few years ago which I believe made his defensive weaknesses only grow worse. Like seriously, I don't remember any footballer ever getting made fun of more than Maguire. 
ever. I admit, I joke around too, but it's not like I hate the guy. Sure, it would have been ideal to sideline him for a good amount of time so the noise could die down, but by continuously having him as captain, and with England's manager Gareth Southgate continuing to put him on the starting lineup when there are guys like Fiyako Tomori, Maguire is just gonna get more hate and likely make more mistakes, which leads to more jokes, memes, and more hate. And I thought it was bad enough that United fans would boo him. Now, even English fans are jeering every time Maguire gets the ball. It's getting pretty sad. So in my opinion, Maguire should have some time on the bench to divert attention away, and maybe even sign with a different club where he could start fresh. I mean, he thrived at Sheffield, Hull City, and Leicester, but I don't think Man United is a good environment for him. And I've seen many say that he's justifiably a decent player, but maybe just not good enough to be the top leagues at a consistent level. However, I do wish the best for the man and hope he can once again get back in form or find a team where he can once again show his defensive and leadership abilities. But for now, the memes are hilarious, and I do quite love them, and I do find a lot of them funny. But maybe just keep it pure banter and leave out all of the genuine hate. But still, I've never seen a defender who forgot how to play defense quite as much as the man himself, Harry Maguire.